The Tropical Agriculture Journal features research on agricultural topics such as the breadfruit, the Caribbean, neotropical non-domestic animals, the future of food security, and more. Dean of the Faculty of Food and Agriculture, Professor Mark Woodivira, noted the significance of the journal in its 100th year. He says it marks the faculty's creation of legacy and innovation. The special issue that we are launching today not only marks a milestone, but also reaffirms the journal's enduring mission to bridge scientific discovery with global tropical agricultural challenges. Just as its inaugural editors envisioned a century uh, ago. Professor Woody Vera added that the publication continues to serve as a compass for future users. We also celebrate the incredible or indelible, rather, marks left by alumni like uh, Dr. Chelson Braffett and Dr. Arlington Chesney, whose papers on Caribbean food security and tropical agricultural features reminds us that this journal is not just a record of the past, but a compass for the next century. As a partner of the university, Chief Executive Officer of the National Flour Mills, Ian Mitchell, affirmed the stance of the company in supporting initiatives such as this. We see our role as more than just feeding our Caribbean people. We see ourselves as partners in strengthening our region's food systems, ensuring food and nutrition security, supporting farmers we work very closely with, and fostering innovation. Agronomist and former student of the Faculty of Agriculture at UWI, Marcus Maiku, highlighted the significance of the journal in his years of study. Even then, as we were doing our first degree, Ms. Ragbeer, the journal was a source document for us. It was a source document that guided many of the things that we thought about and wrote and so on. It was great note. Tropical Agriculture, first published in 1924, is available for use online. Faith Chariot, TTT News.